this video will most likely offend everyone because this is a very sensitive topic and I feel like everyone is um, completely protective of where they fall in this category. Um, and so without further ado, uh, let's do zodiac signs in Hogwarts houses. Um, and yeah, like I said, my opinion is my opinion. Uh, it's okay if you don't feel this way. And also, if I got your sun sign wrong, apply your moon sign, apply your rising, like there are other factors and variables in your chart. You are not just one sign, you are a plethora of signs. And yeah, let's dive right in. So for, uh, so for the Hogwarts houses, uh, obviously if you don't live under a rock, uh, there's Slytherin, uh, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Hufflepuff. And the first one I'm going to be talking about today is Slytherin. Um, and Slytherin, the kind of qualities of Slytherin House is cunning, resourcefulness, ambitious, and clever. Um, and for this, I chose Taurus, Scorpio, and Capricorn. And um, I chose these specific signs for Slytherin because I do feel like um, they are very, all three of these people are very, oh, oh, people, all three of these signs are extremely, extremely, I guess, kind of cool and collected and give off this vibe of, they have this way of uh, navigating through life with logic or resourcefulness and kind of paying attention to details that we uh, sometimes usually forget uh, about. Also, you know, all three are plain evil, so let's just call it like I see it, you know? Um, and yeah, I just feel like Slytherin is like a house where people could be very good, um, but sometimes choose to be bad. Or, um, I feel like also when I think of Taurus, Capricorn, and Slytherin, I think, a uh, Slytherin. Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Um, I think of kind of this cool, collected ambition, calm before the storm vibe, and I feel like that's Slytherin to me too. It's like very calculated, uh, very mellow, but deadly, you know? Um, and that's just the vibe that I get. And then a Hufflepuff, um, I chose, oh yeah, so the, the qualities of Hufflepuff are loyal, hardworking, patient, and dedicated. And I chose Cancer, Pisces, and Libra. And I know a lot of people weren't happy with this. I think people just aren't happy if they're not sorted into Gryffindor and Slytherin, truthfully. But um, I chose these because I feel like all of these, uh, like they're just very like bubbly. They're very lovely signs. They're very emotionally charged and they're very empathetic creatures. And I feel like that's kind of when I think of Hufflepuff, I think of like a fun loving, you know, like I think of like a, um, like a very optimistic, positive kind of vibe. And then when I think of these signs, I feel like those are that's just where they belong. They they belong in like an environment where it's just very um, open minded and accepting and like loving. And that's just kind of like a warm Hufflepuff vibe. Um, and yeah, Gryffindor is courage, chivalry, bravery, and daring. Um, and I chose Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And I chose fire signs because they are extremely reckless and impulsive, um, but they also really want to prove themselves to the world. They really have a lot to prove. They have a lot to um, show the world. And I feel like that's kind of the Gryffindor vibe. Gryffindor is kind of like they want attention, but they want attention for something they feel they've worked hard to achieve. And I know that's kind of a blanketed statement. You could say that about like everyone, but I feel like, um, I don't know. I just feel like Leo Aries and Sagittarius scream Gryffindor vibes. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. And then Ravenclaw. When I think of Ravenclaw, I just think of like bookish people. I think of like very intelligent, very sharp witted, very like intellectually stimulating people. Um, and so naturally, oh yeah, so it says creativity, wisdom, wit, originality. And naturally I chose Mercury ruled energy. I put Virgo and Gemini in there because they are ruled by the planet of intelligence. So that's just astrologically a given. Um, and then I chose Aquarius as well. And Aquarius is like this really fun Saturn ruled 
um, sign, but it also just feels, I think it's because it's like the 11th house of technology, which is kind of, you know, synonymous to intelligence. I feel like that's why they scream Ravenclaw to me because they're very intellectually stimulating and I don't think we, t I don't feel like we talk about that a lot. I, I just don't, I don't know. But um, that, they, these signs just, I don't feel like they belong anywhere else. Um, they belong in the smartest house because I feel like they're the smartest signs. That's just that on that, you know? And then um, for fun fact, I guess JK Rowling did originally kind of say what sign she wanted for what house. And she did actually pick fire signs for Gryffindor, which is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. She picked, um, oh, wait, let me look it up. Ravenclaw's air signs, which I kind of get, but also feel like Virgo belongs there, which is why I didn't. I'd put Libra there. Libra is intelligent though, so I do feel like it would fit. I do see where she was coming from. I just don't agree personally. Um, and obviously that's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Uh, she chose for Hufflepuff, she did Earth signs, which are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which I personally, if I had to just put Hogwarts houses with elements, I would have put uh, Earth signs in Slytherin because y'all evil. No, I'm just kidding. But um, she put... Oh wait, she put water signs for Slytherin, which I can kind of see. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but honestly, I just think of like emotional, you know, I'm not going to say babies because I'm not going to be shady in this video. Um, you know, creatures, and I would put them in Hufflepuff. So I would have switched JK Rowling's Hufflepuff with her, her um, Slytherin. I would have put earth signs in Hufflepuff. I would have put water signs in Slytherin. Water signs in Hufflepuff, earth signs in Slytherin, and she did that reversed. So that's what she said. I already told you what I said I would have done. Um, so comment below, tell me what you feel. Tell me what you would have done for each sign. You know, let's make this a fun collaborative effort. Tell me uh, what you feel your sign is, what you actually got sorted into, Let's talk about it. Um, and that completes this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway because Hogwarts. And um, I will see you in my next video. Also, make sure to turn the notification bell on, please. I post new videos inconsistently uh, every week, at least once. I'm trying to do eventually three videos a week, but I do work a 40 hour scheduled job and it's hard out here so yeah but uh turn the notification bell on hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i will see you in my next video